Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean videos on the Jimmy Master animatronics and this is a video of the Jimmy Halloween animated floating green eyed reaper. I call it the green eyed reaper, but it's called a floating Re grim reaper with, well, with green eyes. This is the non-LED version and this model was sold at Walmart in 2007. Some people think it was 2006 due to the, uh, 2005 and 6 due to the old hands, but remember, they did have some leftover old hands to use, and actually, most of the Green Eyed Reapers actually do have the old hands. But it is a 2007 model because, you know, look at my documentary. I showed you what the box looks like. This one was a Walmart exclusive. Exclusive? <laughs> the LED Eye version was sold on HSN.com or one of those TV shows, like where they sell stuff, where they talk and they like try to convince you to buy it, you know. You know, yeah. And they're also sold in Australia, apparently, because there's a guy who was selling quite a few of these, but they don't ship to the U.S. So, that's a bummer, but yeah. Um, this one is not on its original pole. This one was, at, the, his original pole was actually the first to fry out of all my floating ghosts. Um, like, within a week, the first, one LED already started burning out, and less than a month, they were all burnt out. Because, they, like I said, they, they go out one at a time. If one light goes out, especially in with the 2007 models, they, the, the 2007 models had, for some reason, the LEDs just went out on those pretty quickly. It happened to this one, it happened to Dawn of the Dead, and it happened, well, it did happen to my Grim Reaper with Light of Eyes, so it happened to all three of those. The only one it didn't happen to was my Floating Witch, but she ended up frying, so, I mean, her, yeah, her board uh, died, because it, it would only control her hands to go up or something like that not yeah, yeah um but yeah his original pole did end up frying like it started getting pretty slow towards the end too but like um i was fixing the string because it had snapped and a wire had come off the motor and um the wire i had the batteries installed in it and the wire touched the circuit board and smoke shot out of it and that was the end the pole i'm currently using on it right now is a floating friendly uh ghost pole which does not make noise, and it just activated. I can't turn it off because um, I have the switches inside the pole, so I have to take the batteries out. And this this does have an. I mean, it's it's. I don't want this thing to make noise because that would be so annoying. Him making those noises on a friendly ghost pole. The only reason I have him on a friendly ghost pole is because look, he goes to the top. If he was using his original pole, he wouldn't. There's no other pole I have where he actually goes to the top. He doesn't go to the top on the one that makes the moaning soundtrack. Um, so this is the only pole where he actually goes to the top because unlike the laughing and screaming, even though the activation on this one is pretty much the same length as the laughing and screaming, they gave it about six seconds to reset back to the top, which is actually long enough for it to get to the top. You see it like as soon as it gets to the top it turns off so you know and the purple friendly ghost like that i think they gave it too much time to give it to the top because that that head is so lightweighted that he's already at the top before it even starts pulling him back up so yeah that's why i'm using him on this pole but this pole does have an issue if you touch this it's this there's a connector piece in here that's broken if you touch it that hand will not move so I'm going to have to f open it up and fix that at some point. This is the only one I've had that problem with. Um, and this one's cloth is hard as well. It's still actually hard, but this one was extremely hard when I got it. Like, I actually posted a video of the first day I got it too on Joe Bean Videos. It's not too far down. It, it was a recent one I uploaded, so you should go check that out. But it's cool. I like this one. Well, I like them all, obviously, but yeah. And see, this one's strain won't snap either because his hand doesn't go, or head doesn't go up with the hands, you know. So that's also why I'm using them on that pole. Hey! Like I said, there's hardly any of these models that have the flat hands, surprisingly. All the LED ones usually do, but. The ones with just the painted green LED, green eyes, just like this one, they all have the old hands. So they used most of the leftover old hands on this guy. Him 
and the Grim Reaper with the LED red eyes. They used most of the red or the leftover hands on. Hey, one more time. Oh, there's not even a speaker in there. I think it might be on the inside of the pole, though. So yeah. That's the floating Grim Reaper with green LED. Oh wow, that one, that one's that light went inside the pole. And see, now it's disconnected. So now, now I'm gonna have a diff. Oh, usually I have a difficult time getting that thing to move. Yeah, see, but it's it stops. That's yeah. That's why I didn't want it. To, that's why I had it on when I was talking because if I were if I would have had turned it on after I was done talking, yeah, this hand wouldn't have moved. So um. Yeah, like, it, like I said, it needs work. So, anyways, that's it for this video. So, hope you like it. Thank you for watching, and bye.